Hello, uh, my name is Subhajit Maitra. I'm part of the North America System Z Hybrid Cloud sales team. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about IBM ZOS Container Extensions, or ZCX. But let's find out uh, what's there in ZOS right now, what can you run in ZOS. So on ZOS right now, you can run transactional systems like CICS, IMS, uh, middleware systems like MQ, programming languages like COBOL on ZOS. Then on ZOS also you have uh, USS, or also called Unix System Services, where you can run Linux applications on ZOS, uh, because USS gives you a Unix-like personality. So you can write Linux applications on ZOS. Now, with ZCX, with the introduction of ZCX with ZOS 2.4, uh, it gives you the capability to run uh, Linux on Z binary images as Docker containers on ZOS. So what, with ZCX now, what you can do is you can run Docker images on ZOS. So now let's look at ZCX. What is ZCX? So ZCX is a prepackaged Linux appliance uh, that is provided and maintained by IBM. So we call it a prepackaged Linux Docker appliance. It's called an appliance because it is it comes packaged with ZOS 2.4. So what you, what IBM gives you is a Linux kernel. a Linux Docker engine, with a standard Docker CLI. So this environment is provided and maintained by IBM for you. So you don't have to maintain your Linux and everything. So this comes packaged, all the updates are done and through IBM. So now let's look at what can you do with ZCX. With ZCX, what you can do, you can take any Linux on Z binary images uh, that are available. Let's say this is your ZCX environment. Uh, you can take Nginx, uh, you can take Mongo DB, or you can also take a Kafka uh, binary image and run as containers inside ZCX. So these are all Linux containers that you run as, taking the binary image and running as containers. So these are Linux container. And so you can run this Nginx, MongoDB, or Kafka. You can take that Im Linux binary image and run as container, container inside CCX. So when you run this as containers, uh, you don't need any ZOS skills to develop and deploy these images as containers. The interface is through standard Docker CLIs. Now, the question that many people ask is, how does these uh, uh, applications or containers uh, communicate with ZOS static tasks or applications that are running on this uh, left-hand side here? Uh, these, uh, these containers, they interact with the TCP IP stack on ZOS. So you have your TCP IP stack on ZOS. You have your virtual private IP network that you connect to your standard ZOS applications through that IP network. So applications like MQ, CICS, they interact with these containers through the IP stack on ZOS. One of the things that is there when we provide this appliance is that uh, you as a developer don't have access to this Linux environment 
uh, uh, with root access. So the interface is through standard Docker CLIs. Uh, is limited to Docker CLI. So th this is a secure service container. Now all this in the dotted box that you see here is a started task. It's managed by ZOS system administrator is under ZOS operational control. So what is the value of running ZCX in a ZOS environment? The value of this is you have your uh, systems of record on this side you have your db2 let's say you have transactional systems like kix mq ims you have databases like db2 here okay now with zcx uh, what you can do you have all this application as a composite applications your systems of uh, uh, in, uh, so your systems of record and your systems of engagement on the same ZOS system. So you build a composite application. So let's talk about the value of ZCX again. So what ZCX helps you is to build a hybrid uh, solution. So you have a, you know, a hybrid ZOS solution and ZOS ecosystem, a software ecosystem. So you have Linux containers uh, running inside, Z uh, Linux containers or applications as containers running inside ZCX. And you have your ZOS workloads in the ZOS framework within the same ZOS operational control. So this actually complements your ZOS workloads with, uh, for a composite solutions with Linux containers. So this is ZCX. Uh, so one of the other value is uh, all these workloads that you run inside ZCX are zip eligible uh, to lower your workload costs. And so get, st get started, uh, start using ZCX, and you will love it. Thank you. Follow the links on screen to learn more about what the Client Experience Centers can do for you.